So we are working on Paul's cage 100 again. Last episode we checked the carburetor and looked into the ignition and timing. And replaced the dodgy 12 volt coil some loser installed. So this episode we started by replacing the condenser which was probably damaged after dealing with the extra voltage from that cretinous 12 volt coil. Alright, so we've got the condenser here. I've got a new one in my pocket. Whoa. Whoa, exactly. With your locket. I don't have any lockets in my pockets. Is that being resold as the one that's there? Oh, I don't know. Does it look crap? It's a big crap. As Dave was pointing out, Paul, if it was a 12 volt coil on there, it could well have been. That could fuel the condenser. Oh, okay. Because we get the pressure off the wattage. Is that there how you it go? Um, how does this work? Point at it. Point at it. Well, I haven't actually. Does it normally have that many wires? Why don't we have a look? We've got, got, got your garbage yeah. Yeah. Has someone. So that's what we're replacing. Why are there that many wires in there? Well, there'd be one for the ignition, one for the system. I was watching a video about this. There's a bloke who's obsessed with these on YouTube. And he was pointing out the different models of these, and some of them, there's like one for ignition, one for the system, and one for. <laughs> oh, I can see one. For one for lights. Australia. No, oh, one for Australia. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I mean, I wasn't actually expecting it to be soldered on. I don't have to say. Unless, how does that work? Do you have a soldering iron, Michael? Do I have a soldering iron? Yes, I do. But it was left outside when Toby and I were soldering in the dark that time. Oh, really? We packed up and left it. Yeah. Oh, it'll be fine. Yeah, as long as it's bit. dry. Yeah, this this kind of wasn't what I was anticipating. Yeah, so we just relocated inside because it was getting a bit windy out there, and we wanted to do a bit of soldering. So um, thought it would be best to. I just got a piece of that. Thought it would just be best to be out of the weather. Making sure they are exactly the same thing, which, yeah, I don't think there's any real doubt there. They're the same. Have we sold those, those two tabs? Is the question. I take it those two tabs both terminate the same, to the same spot. Um, yeah, there's nothing separating the two tabs. I think the two tabs are kind of, you sort of fold one in place and then you can solder the whole lock down or something like that. Oh, yeah. so these two wires, these are actually clips. They're, they're not soldering tabs. We should, if we loosen this off, hopefully we can, um, yeah, if we unwrap those tabs first. Yeah, I thought those were soldering tabs, but you're right, it's a clip that goes around the wires. It's a whole one. It says cap, it says in so I imagine that means now, Alright, so 
So is this the old one or the new one? This is the old one. So the old one reads... reading about a hundred, that'd be about one microfarad. Micro forehead. Yep, a micro forehead, that's exactly what it's reading. This one is reading about 265, so that's more of a Neanderthal. Neanderthal. So this one's tiny. So that one's 265 nano foreheads. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, what these, are we? These are orders of magnitude different. Do you know what it's supposed to be? No. Yeah, that's great. That's so, so much better than anything we've got before. Alright, well, the last thing we need is this gear lever. It's a git lever, so you put on by a git. That's rude. Alright, so do you reckon I should have this in second or first or what? Well, does it roll start in first? I don't know. Oh, yeah, but if, if you release the clutch and it starts skidding in first, then we can't. It weighs like five kilos, Paul. I think there are road bikes that weigh more than that. <laughs> to work. The next thing we're going to do is just press this bar plug, make a whole lot of clanging noises, and what are we checking? Just whether it's grotty or not from the, the two-stroke joy. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Thought you might be. Okay, yeah, I'll just take this. <laughs> this is, what is this in so jolly hard? Put this in. I feel like I'm missing something, like, that, that's, yeah, taking it out. It seems fine though, doesn't it? Yeah, it's trying to focus on your face, it obviously thinks your face is more important oh, than the spark oh, plug. there we go. It's not. Focus on the spark plug! I often there wonder how much, um, how many thousands of hours on YouTube are just devoted to people trying to focus on small objects yeah. with their phones. Anyway, it's, it's wet, but it's not clogged up or anything. That's how that means it's got fuel. It smells like fuel. Oh, Leo. It's a hard life we lead, isn't it? I had a bit of weed before, actually. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh straight down the stairs. <laughs> oh, Leo. Leo's a bit concerned. We're, we're getting stuff pushed back through the carby. So I've just taken off the carby there, as you can see, and we're just looking into where the carby feeds in into the cylinder. And if you turn the kickstart over, to the kickstart over, you can see that's the ki that's the read 
the disc valve coming in and closing it up. And if you kick it over again, there you go, open again. So we're just going to test that against the, when the um, the cylinder position. So we're going to take the spark plug out and just check if that matches up as it ought to, rather than take everything apart again. So we'll do that. There's the yeah. Yeah. Well, So just a bit of a, a tour. So that's the bit that comes out of the gearbox that runs the the oil pump. That's the kickstarter. This is the clutch. Um, that's where the clutch gear drives the crank. And this whole thing here is what we need to take off. And that's the um, disc valve cover. So that's where the fuel goes in. Yep. That's where the oil goes in. Yep. And they all mix together behind there and go into the thing so we just need to take this off okay which I can't remember how it works but I think it involves taking all these off I think you can take the whole assembly off from memory but but I could be wrong yep yeah, this is the only there you go Paul <laughs> just dropped it in the oil that's okay that's fine what was that oh that's right it's got a circlip that okay. holds it on so if we take the circlip off we could should just be able to take this whole clutch assembly off here yeah oh, and yeah, then that's... we can Take this stuff off. I don't know what that is. What is uh, that for? That is to do with gear changing. We'll leave okay, that there. Okay. Fair enough. That's part of the gear change mechanism from the rod that comes in the other side for the gear change. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Um, so it's handy having taken this apart a few times. Yeah. <laughs> knowing, knowing what things are. Okay. Yeah. So it's just this that comes off, and then we can undo that. Flip that around. Mm. Like flip the disc that's in there around, and mm. then. Put it back together again and hopefully it bangs it. I love how the air intake comes in, that's so cool. It comes in there and yeah, it kind of goes across, because you see... Let's have a look. It goes through there, yeah. out into where the car... This little bit here that's the dry bit that has the carby, so no oil there, and it kind of... Yeah. Up through there. That's wicked. It's kind of cool, yeah. It's very, very well thought out. Except for if you look in there, you can see the filter's not doing a whole lot of... Like filtering it's filtering it's not <laughs> clean in there but if you have like if <laughs> if the rotary valve is in the wrong way around you're going to be blowing crap back through the air filter so probably exactly what's happening anyway well okay circlip things
Okay, so we go. Okay, so. <laughs> okay. That's the disc valve. So. And as I've said in a previous video, you can either put it on one way or the other, and we reckon, well, that it's on the wrong way. So well, don't on. we know it's on the wrong way? Otherwise, we wouldn't have opened it up. Well, pretty much, but I'm just going to put it on the other way. Do you want me to like hand you the phone and you can get really in there, Paul? Because you're already sitting in front of it. Kind of so, so there we go. There's a phone. And I've got really early hands. Okay. So. Yep. And so what we're going to do is take this off because I'm assuming that we got this mixed stuff the wrong last time I did it. Take that off. Put it there. That looks. That's my mark from last time. This actually has a bit of rust on it. Hopefully that's not. So the mark on it, did you just disregard that last time you put it together? I'm wondering whether I marked the wrong side. That says disc, by the look of it. I'm just concerned that that's a bit of like corrosion that's... Well, when it fangs it, there's going to be yeah, oil going through there all the time. It oh, it's really oily. I'm just concerned about it scratching and things, but I'll just no, put it back right. together. It'll be right. Um, yeah, I'll just put it back together. Because that, that's... That's what we're trying to do, that's what we're here for. That's what it's all about. Well, like, we can do like a... Uh, like wavy... Yeah, thank you. Yeah, so it's open on the uptake there, isn't yep. it? Yeah, that's great. Cool. That's that? This is when it doesn't work. Probably. Okay, you ready? Yep. <laughs> um, this this is hanging quite a lot. That's insane. Well, let me see if I can get it. Like that's yeah, that's bottomed out. So cable okay, So we need we need to adjust some cables, but it runs. Yeah, that's spooky. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it sounds like a chainsaw, so that's a good sign. Yeah, that's what I it's guess. supposed to do. Man. That's wicked. I actually think that's the first time I've seen your bike run in. Like, <laughs> ever! <laughs> like, honestly, I probably...